Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? What is going on guys and welcome back to another John Boat to Bass Boat Conversion video. So if you look right there behind me, you will see two nine inch Garmin screens. So I think this is going to be how I'm doing my screens. We got the Panoptics up top, that is the live scope. And then we got the Garmin Striker 9 Plus. This has the side imaging, down imaging, uh, what else? I think clear view, mapping, all that good stuff. So over the last two days, I've been kind of questioning how I'm gonna do this. Nate is actually making some awesome dual mounts that go right over the box for your tray. So it goes right here. I will show you a picture of that right here. Pretty freaking awesome. This is the boat that Nate and Ryan just built, I believe. So I'm gonna show you a little teaser of their awesome little boat. But as you can see, my wire for the trolling motor goes straight up. That dual mount right here is not going to work for my boat. So I'm gonna have to do them over here which is good too because that is the original plan, my original idea I had for these two mounts. I also thought about getting a stowaway mount, which I've seen online, they're about 200 bucks. I thought about doing that as well. I already told Nate that these are the plans. Nate was uh, asking all of us some ideas for his mount and how tall it should be and whatnot, but uh, I kind of came up with this, this is very basic box. Piece of aluminum metal folded just like that. And that will sit right here and this second fish finder will sit on top of that and uh be a lot cleaner than all this but i just wanted to make a little quick gimmick of that to see how it looks looks pretty awesome so we'll have the fish finders here they will be the headlight right here behind it as well but i think that looks pretty good guys what do y'all think let me know what y'all think um it's not too late to do the stow mount either so just keep that in mind but that reminds me, I am going to have to start worrying about the handle soon because that's going to have to go on the boat and it's probably going to go like drop straight down here. So transducer, transducer mount, come up and sit in this area. Let's just use this as a reference. So a mount, an arm coming over the boat and then down and transducer. And this mount will have to spin so I can spin the transducer in whatever direction so I can see in any direction on the live scope. So we'll have to do all that as well. And I don't think that will be in the way. I mean, it looks like it's in the way here, but when you're on the boat, I think we're all good. All right, so I just came up with some plans for the transducer pole mount that is gonna come off of here. And that is where that transducer is going to be down in the water. So I drew some very rough plans. It started with that, <laughs> turned into that. And then that, and then here's a little bit of detail. And then here is the final product. So this is going to be all aluminum, all welded. I'm about to take this to the metal shop and see what they can do with it. Hopefully they can do it. I did call and they said that uh, they're down for whatever. They are awesome. So got the plans, about to head to Amarillo and see what they can do with this. But this will be, this was a part I was worried about. I had no idea what I wanted to do with this. And now we have the plan. So that is one less thing we have to worry about. All right, so I'm here at American Sheet Metal. Just talked to the guy here and we did it. We got the pieces we need. So American Sheet Metal here in Amarillo, Texas is going to be making my transducer pole mount. Um, it's gonna be awesome, freaking sweet. My plans that I came up with, we kind of adjusted and changed a little bit to make it easier, which I'm happy about. It's gonna be better and stronger as well with the materials that we used and also lightweight. So it all worked out. I'm happy. Now we can go home and work on the boat some more, but man, I'm excited. It's gonna be a pretty cool freaking mount. It's gonna be nice and strong. So I could have easily made a super simple DIY PVC mount for this transducer, but it just did not feel right throwing it on this boat. I mean, this entire boat is all aluminum. So I was like, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, we can do a little better than some PVC, some cheap plastic. So now we got the shop making a all aluminum, a little bit of stainless steel mount. So it's gonna be freaking sweet. So basically the mount is gonna look just like this. I drew it up exactly what we talked about, how we planned it. 
This is a two by two square tubing, which might be a little bulky. It might be, you know, I don't know, we'll see. It's actually the same size as this, so. I mean, it's a little bulky, but it'll be all right. It's gonna come up six inches, come out over the lip of the boat six inches, and then drop down. But that's two by two square tubing. I believe it's one eighth thick, so it'll be pretty strong. And then they're gonna close off the ends here and then drill a hole for the stainless steel pipe running through there. I know you're not supposed to mix stainless steel and aluminum, but it's all we could do. It's all the shop had in metal. So I'm not sure what size it is in stainless steel, but it's really thick wool. So that's gonna be super strong. This is the same stainless steel material here that is this pipe that's gonna get welded like that. This is just a round stainless steel plate that's gonna get welded to this end. That's just so this pipe can't come out. There is the main base of it right here. Everything is aluminum besides the stainless steel rod going through it. And uh, this will be able to spin and turn. And then there's going to be pretty much the same drawing, just not all 3D. Uh, this is the shaft. It's gonna go up and then kind of curve around. And that will be the handle for me to turn the uh, transducer any direction I want. And then the shaft will go all the way down about three, three or four foot down. And that will be dropped into the water. And that is where the transducer will be sitting. And the cord will run up the entire pipe. And then, of course, hidden underneath the deck. But that's the plan for the transducer base, which I'm happy with. Well, I guess yesterday I had no idea what I was going to do for it. And now we got this pretty sweet little drawing drew up. Looks pretty good. This is a bolt going through all the way. There's also a hole up here. That's so I can just lock the arm in place. So say it's down, this will be down. It's going down into the water. Well, when I'm done with it or when I'm moving the boat, I'll pull this pin, flip it up, and then the transducer will sit up over here somewhere. And I can lock that into place with the pin going through the top. So pretty sweet. And again, that will sit somewhere in this area here come up six inches, come out six inches, and then drop down below into the water. Pretty simple, but hopefully we get that in a few days. Not really too sure. Oh, here's the arm. So this arm that you see right here is this, and that's the transducer will be here, and then the handle for it is way up here, and there's just a coupler right there. So this stick right here is three quarter inch aluminum tubing. It fits inside this piece pretty tight. It is perfect. This is the piece I had to like search forever. Go to like seven different shops to find. Finally found it. Thankfully I did. But yeah, man. It's going to be pretty freaking sweet. Again, there's a coupler right there. This whole shaft will drop down into the pipe. And that coupler will keep it sitting on top of that. I'm happy with the design I came up with. Pretty basic. I mean, nothing too special here really. As far as like, you know, just making an arm. It's just cool because it's all aluminum. It's all metal. It's going to be strong, you know, no flex. Although uh, I was debating at having this PVC pipe just because if I do hit something on the bottom, like the ground or something, it will flex and bend, not really damage anything. But it's aluminum. It's going to be a lot stronger than PVC. So it's not going to have much flex. It might still have a little bit of flex, but it'll be all right. I'll just have to be careful not to drag my uh, transducer over any rocks or anything, which I don't want to do anyways because this thing costs way too much dang money. But guys, there's just a quick little talking video. We didn't really do anything on the boat today. So we got the transducer and we got the mount coming. So uh, maybe a week or so we'll be able to actually attach all this stuff or have it. I'm, I'm saying a week. I don't know though. We'll see. It just depends. Inside of my hands, Nate is making the fish finder mount, and then American Sheet Metal is making this base for me. So, once again, all welded. So, it's going to be pretty freaking nice. Can't wait for that. But, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.